What if I told you you could complete DeFi transactions for instead of hundreds of dollars and tens of dollars, even just a couple dollars, for like one cent? What, what, what? You may not believe me. You may think, is he gonna shill a coin? No, he's not. He's just gonna talk about a good project, which we've talked about before. A project that enabled me to earn $36 a day in passive income. Oh yeah, that's crazy. That's potentially life change. We're gonna be looking at energy. But specifically, we're gonna be looking at their Uniswap clone in a sense. It's a decentralized exchange, but it's built on their blockchain and trades only cost, like like I already said, one cent. And I'm not just gonna sh talk about it, right? Or shill it, or any of that. I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you're either gonna think it's awesome, check it out yourself, or you won't. Unlike a lot of other people here on the tube. That's the Voscoin difference. Just like this is the Tails difference. Our resident Shiba Inu and Dogecoin run at 10 seconds of Tails. It's something we do here on every video here on the channel. Smash that subscribe button and join us on this crazy crypto journey. If you've ever wanted to mine Bitcoin, then you should head to minewithcompass.com and learn how they're making it possible for everyone to mine Bitcoin now. They sell Bitcoin miners, they will connect you with facilities, co-location, which enables you to host your Bitcoin miners with some of the best Bitcoin mining farms in the world. Click the link below to learn how you can start mining with Compass today. Yo, watch out for scammers and impersonators. They're everywhere in the comments on YouTube. They're on social media. I am not emailing you from a Gmail account and you are not talking to me on WhatsApp. They're creeping into DMs on Instagram and everywhere else. Ask for a picture or video chat. I don't mind. So I'm pretty excited for today's video. Obviously we're big fans of NRG. I've been covering them for years and thanks to them for just supporting us long term here on the channel. But you know, we started staking energy on like a, a laptop on their old blockchain before they moved to Energy 3.0, which was basically a, a EVM style blockchain, Ethereum virtual machine, or kind of like an Ethereum clone. Or, or you could look at it as potentially an Ethereum killer. That's what all the uh, you know hype articles like this take. And anyway, you know we've been staking it, we're running masternodes, comparing staking rewards versus masternode rewards, and you know just how to maximize your returns. They have a cool blockchain on-chain governance, self-funding treasury, masternodes, and Ethereum compatible smart contracts, making it easy to deploy stuff. And you know, they've just been working on a lot of really cool things and they're doing a lot of things that projects say they're gonna do or want to do. So, but let's jump right into how do you even use energy swap? Because I like things that sell themselves, right? I could tell you this, oh, so great, bro, put my bags, whatever. And you may have seen some recent coverage that's kind of like that, but that doesn't resonate with me probably doesn't even resonate with you. So we go to energyswap.exchange, I'll drop a link below. It opens up the app. If you've ever used Uniswap, well, then it'll look very familiar. We've got a full video guide on what Uniswap is, how to use it in our review and everything like that. I'm gonna cover all those same functions again in today's video. It's all going to revolve around a MetaMask, which I've got a full video guide on. How to use MetaMask and set it up and everything like that. Energy posted an official guide on how to use the MetaMask mobile wallet, but it has some key information we can grab real quick right here that works with the browser option or MetaMask mobile. So I clicked the wrong button. I want to click expand view and you definitely want to click expand view. So you come in here and you can go to custom RPC and basically you're adding a blockchain. And all you do is just take this information here. The most critical things here are like these RBC URLs and chain IDs. So I have MetaMask right here in my browser and I can just go ahead. You can put whatever you want here. Like it, you can put, they recommend putting the energy mainnet, but that's that's long and that's not my style. You can just slap energy in there. You can put the chain ID, you put the, the ticker is what the currency symbol is. And you always want to make sure that you also put the uh, the blockchain explorer. That's the official energy blockchain explorer. And maybe I'm going a little fast, but it's just really that simple. You just take that information and you just copy and paste it. I could even put it in the video description below. If you think that'd be helpful, let me know in a comment. I'll, I'll throw it down there. Uh, 
this URL is already present because I've already added it. You can see the other blockchains I've added support for here as well. I mean, sometimes I do just copy and paste whatever they you know say, but uh, just energy. I'm not going to forget that energy is energy. Um, but you put it in there and you click save and, and that's it. If I X out of this and I go over to the Ethereum mainnet, you can see this is my address. Same address, same wallet, same seed. You know, I don't have to download more you know, applications or anything like that. And you know, now I can transact and do whatever I want to do on the Ethereum blockchain. That's my Ethereum right there. And I click over and like, okay, I want to mess around on the energy blockchain, just like that. It just works the way it ought to. And it's the same up here, I, I can transact. And again, you know, we've talked a bunch about Binance Smart Chain. It's the same thing here. So it's very, it's very awesome to just kind of get all your stuff in one place. In our previous videos, I showed the My Energy Wallet. It's a fine wallet and all that, but I recommend that you just sync it up with MetaMask, and you know then you're good to go. It's just that simple and easy. For anyone watching my energy address, you may have noticed I recently moved my coins around. One, I'm shuffling a lot of my coins for privacy, rebuilding my VPS, and I'm not going to have my energy. Um, staking address public anymore and in full disclosure I am selling some of the coins that I earned through the staking mechanism because if you never realize any sort of gains or put it into other coins or whatever then I mean you know I don't know what, what, what's your end game right uh, but I'm not I'm not dumping energy I'm not exiting energy I actually think what they're doing is really cool and so this will be my new public energy address and it's gonna be make it mainly focused on just uh, you know, interacting with DeFi on their blockchain so let's take a step back where do you even get energy right so qcoin is the place we recommend it's not the best exchange it's not my favorite cryptocurrency exchange but it's easy to use for everyone especially u.s citizens which is a critical issue for a lot of uh you know crypto investors or would be uh, but you can log in go to nrg deposit whatever coins of this exchange buy those coins get them out um, otherwise, Energy has a wrapped token on the Ethereum blockchain on Uniswap, but it always trades at a premium and the volume is low, so I don't recommend that. There are no other good exchanges for Energy, and unfortunately, I think that really holds Energy back. Uh, but that's not the focus of today's video, and those things would obviously change when they get on listed onto you know more and bigger and better cryptocurrency exchanges. Will that happen? TBD. So before I finally get to showing you how to use Energy Swap, let's take a brief look at their info page. Again, it's just like Uniswap Analytics. And from here, we can see that they have a lot of wrapped token variations trading on their chain. For, exa for example, XRP at Energy, Uniswap at Energy. And these are just you know wrapped versions. You can actually see pretty decent liquidity in a lot of these tokens, especially considering this is such a you know new and emerging thing, right? So let's look at these. Like, which one do we want to grab some of? Right. Well, you know, let's let's just uh, go ahead and grab some Ethereum. Okay. So we, we go to Ethereum, and let's say we wanted to turn three energy into Ethereum, and we can even participate with micro amounts like this, because uh, you know gas fees aren't going to be that much on here. So I'll go ahead and confirm that swap and turn three energy into that amount of Ethereum. And now the transaction is pending. You know, very common and typical stuff if you're, if you're familiar with, you know, using a decentralized exchange. Notice the huge benefits. They didn't KYC me, which is know your customer. And it's not that I have anything to hide. I just don't want to have another account. I don't want another password. I don't want to be kicked out because I'm a US citizen and discriminated against and my government, you know, is trying to hold me back from crypto and whatever else. But just like that, it was just completed. So first, let's check it out on the blockchain. We can see the TX fee, transaction fee. And it tells you the USD amount right there, but let's go ahead and put it in CoinGecko. So that didn't even cost me one cent. I paid less than one cent to make a trade. Okay, that same trade would cost several dollars at low gas fees on Ethereum or like, you know, 50 bucks or more. It, it, it's, it's unreal. And it's significantly cheaper than some like alternative popular blockchains, for example, Binance Smart Chain. There's a lot of factors that go into this and there is some debate and this and that, and it's not necessarily like just, oh, it's just simply that much better forever, perfect. But you know, the facts remain that right now that I paid less than one cent to complete that transaction. So another way you can earn passive income is being a liquidity provider. So you can go to any decentralized exchange, an example here, Energy Swap, we go to pool, we click add liquidity and you can take any tokens you have. For example, I have this amount of Ethereum. I can match that with energy and provide liquidity. 
everyone who makes trades, I'll get a piece of the pie. So by adding liquidity, you'll, you'll earn 0.3% of all trades on this pair proportional to your share of the pool. Fees are added to the pool, accrue in real time, and can be claimed by withdrawing your liquidity. So if everything stayed the same, I would just over time earn more coins. You earn coins in the liquidity pair. So I would earn more energy and I would earn more Ethereum. You have to approve this DAP, decentralized application, that is a DEX, a decentralized exchange. You have to approve it to be able to interact and spend your Ethereum, or in this case, wrapped Ethereum on the energy blockchain. So once this transaction goes through, I'll be able to add liquidity to the pool. Once my liquidity is added, I can start earning fees or rewards. It might sound a little complicated, but it's actually really simple. And just like that, the transaction is confirmed and normally it takes a second and then this will change from approving ETH to supply. Just like that, it happened. And so we'll just double check, not what I wanted. We'll hit max on there, supply, confirm supply. I'll have this, you know, micro percent of the pool and that's really no surprise here. Um, you know, obviously I'm not playing with a, a big amount here today. And so I'll provide that and then I'll start earning, uh, you know, again, a proportion of those fees. So the transaction just confirmed and I click over to the pool page and you can see it now showed up here on the uh, energy swap as well. So I can click on this and you can see my pool tokens, what's in there. And I have the option to remove this at any time if I'd like to do so. And a really useful tool is to go to the uh, info page, which if you're on their main you know, they're, they're just energy swap. You click analytics. And from here, we can navigate to accounts. You can put in your wallet address, click load account details, and you can see the liquidity that I'm providing. And so I just recently added liquidity in a die pair. This is a new to me, you know, account for using energy. And I now you just saw me add the wrapped Ethereum or, you know, just really Ethereum energy pairing here on the energy blockchain. And so I've already earned, you know, a micro amount of fees. Again, you know, I'm not gonna just be rolling a dough with $20 of liquidity, uh, but I've added liquidity on a lot of decentralized exchanges over time. And if you put several thousand dollars in, you're gonna earn several hundred dollars of fees over time. One of the main ways to hunt for like a lucrative liquidity provider pool is you look at how much liquidity is in there, right? So if it's a lower liquidity, if you put coins in, you say $1,000 into the Ethereum pool versus $1,000 into the energy pool, you have a much larger share of this smaller liquidity pool. You know, just basic math, right? But the critical part is the volume. How much volume are you doing? So more volume means more fees are paid. You can see the 22,000 volume here over the last 24 hours. And the fees for that were $66. So that's $66 worth of energy and ethereum 50 50 split throughout the uh liquidity providers in this pool and that's it that's all there really is to it it's very simple and easy to use it's performed very well in my testing they don't have any cryptocurrency exchanges supporting the tokens on the, like the wrapped tokens, for example, like Ethereum traded on top of the energy blockchain on any cryptocurrency exchanges. So that is a slight downside. If you want to go ahead and trade out of any of these coins, you would need to trade back into energy. And really your only option right now would then be to send those, the energy coins to Qcoin. And from there, you could trade it into other cryptocurrencies, you know, for whatever reasons or whatever you want to do. I believe once they have more pieces in place, they have a very good just core component here right so it's like a, it's like a little budding flower but it's still bud needs some sun needs some water needs to spread out those roots and it could really blossom they have a very good product here right and the only reason that say like pancake swap and binance smart chain could take off so quickly was because they had the behemoth of binance.com and binance us but mainly really binance.com exchange backing them they support BEP20 tokens, which are Binance Smart Chain tokens, making it very easy to get more chain or get more coins onto that blockchain. Right now, energy has to, you know, basically do it the hard way, the long way, the decentralized way. They have to keep building themselves. But again, I've been following their project for years and they've been working hard for years. And I've watched what their founder, 
Tommy World Power does. And you can check out his Twitter. That's where he's, he's active on there and any of his other you know postings and dealings uh, over time. And you can see that he's very focused on just basically making energy as, as good as it can be. And to be honest, I've been really surprised that kind of a lackluster price movement on energy over these last several months, especially, you know, as crypto was very hot just a month ago. Unfortunately, I think that this project is really limited by their lack of exchange support. It's hard to get into the coin and that that barrier to entry, unfortunately, I think keeps a lot of people out. But as far as like an actual usability and user experience here is top notch. I'm paying, you know, basically nothing in transaction fees. It's all working smoothly. It's going well. And it doesn't even stop there. You can stake your coins. You can run master nodes. You can participate with on-chain governance. There's a lot going on here. But above all, I want to know what you think about energy and energy 3.0 and energy swap in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. I'll see you on the next one.